This video gives you a step-by-step -step guide to starting with Domos. Domos has built an extremely simple process to get started. In this short video, we'll walk you through the following steps. Account creation, installing a network agent, using the Domos dashboard, and commonly used features such as the Devices tab, exporting and importing devices, network topology, and even setting up alerts. In addition, I'll touch on advanced features such as shared alerts, VPN on demand, and two-factor authentication. To get started with Domos, do you need to create an account? We use your email address as your login. It's important to note that the creator of the account is what we call the team master. This person has administration rights to the account and is the only user that can authorize and change payment information. Creation of account is easy with just your email address and unique password. We strongly encourage you to use at least eight alphanumeric characters with at least one capital, one lowercase letter, and special characters. Next, provide us with some details about yourself so we can make sure your Domotes experience is customized to your needs. Note that Domotes is cloud-based and to ensure the best service, you should choose the country to which you primarily do business with to help us optimize performance for you. If you are servicing clients throughout the world, you should consider choosing the country outside of North America where you do most of your business. Your account has now been created and you can start installing your first network agent. There are several solutions for installing a network agent. It is important to know that only one network agent is needed per site, depending on the configuration you're implementing. A single network agent can be configured to look across multiple VLANs and subnets. In this initial setup, I'll focus on configuring the network agent for a simple, flat network. Please note that Domotes provides instructions and videos for installing other types of network agents, including Windows-based agents, Linux-based agents, NAS drive agents, and various other embedded agents, such as Raspberry Pis and Luxel Epic Series routers. Please refer to portal.domotes.com under the Add an Agent section for detailed instructions and options. When the agent is installed, it exposes an activation page on port 3000 of the local IP address of the agent. In this example, I've logged into our router to view the connected clients list and found that the agent was assigned an IP address of 192.168.43.197. You can immediately connect to the agent activation page by typing the IP address followed by colon 3000. Once the Domotes agent is updated, you can activate the agent with your login credentials. This associates your Domotes agent with your account. You can now enter any specific details about that agent. The agent will start to scan and identify all the devices associated with this network. It can take up to 15 minutes depending on the size of this network and the devices associated with this network. An optional way of activating an agent is through the Domotes mobile application. You do need to ensure that your mobile device is connected to the same network as the Domotes agent. After logging into the mobile network, use the Add New Agents item under the Domotes app menu. Once the agent is discovered, you'll be prompted to configure the agent. I should point out as well that managed network switches discovered by the Domotes agent will be scanned for SNMP communities. Assuming the community strings are enabled and using default values, the Domotes agent gathers as much information from the switch as possible. This can take several minutes, depending on the switch configuration and details. If you have changed the default community strings, you should modify this in the switch information section within the Domotes app. If you haven't done it yet, this is a great time to set up your company details in the Domotes portal. The Network Operations Center view is a great tool, whether your support team and technicians use it to watch your clients, or if you use it to show your potential clients how you monitor their sites. You can place your company logo in the upper right portion of this screen for all to see. In addition, if you use the reporting features within Domotes, your company information such as logo, phone number, email, and address can be supplied with these reports. When you first log into the Domotes application, you'll see the Domotes Network Operations Center view. This view gives you a list of all your active agents and a map showing where each agent is located. This multi-tenant view is a powerful view into the status of all the agents under your account. You will notice a simplified red, yellow, green status indicator beside each account. When an agent is registering as green, this indicates that the agent is communicating with the Domotes servers and all of the important devices and services on the network are operating as expected. 
When an agent is registering as red, the DOMO servers are not communicating with the agent. This could be an indication of a power outage, ISP outage, or even a blocked firewall setting. When an agent is yellow, it is most likely that an important device, like a network switch or wireless access point, may be offline. Yellow can indicate that potential vulnerabilities to your network have been discovered by the DOMO service as well. This multi-tenant view of all your monitored agents is a great way to see quickly how your agents are doing through real-time updates. If you want to know details of a particular agent, you can click on the agent. This takes you away from the multi-tenant view and directly onto the dashboard of that agent. This initial view shows many details about the site. While this dashboard is quite powerful, in this video I will show you some commonly used sections. The Devices tab is where all discovered devices show up. Once the agent is activated to your account, the Devices tab starts to populate with all the devices visible to the Domotes agent. By default, your dashboard is set to view all devices, but you can easily filter your view to see current online devices or devices that have fallen offline. In addition, you'll notice that you can sort, filter, and group devices in various ways to help focus on the devices you care about. You can view each individual device and the information we've discovered about the device. If you scroll to the Device Properties section, you can set whether this device is important, you set the location, and zone. In this area, you can also adjust the type, name, make, and model as appropriate. Setting these fields helps with filtering and sorting. As you add more and more agents, keeping a consistent nomenclature between agents will help you and your team with respect to standard operations and procedures. Domote scans each and every device for available management ports. You can manage the device using these ports through a secure remote connection. For non-standard ports, you can manually add these ports. It is possible to open multiple secure connections simultaneously. One of the abilities of using the Domotes desktop application is a feature that allows you to export this device list to Excel. You can then modify these fields across all the devices. Once you make the necessary updates, you can import the changes. This is a great way to adjust the importance of a particular device type quickly and easily. Furthermore, you can do updates to device location information through simple copy and paste functions of Microsoft's Excel. You may have recognized by looking at the individual devices that Domotes automatically maps the physical network port that a device is connected to. When Domotes discovers a managed switch, SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol, is accessed to determine more details about the network. You do need to make sure SNMP V2C is enabled and the correct read and read-write community strings are equivalent in the switch and in the Domotes UI. With this information, Domotes can provide you with a physical map of all the connections automatically. In fact, for non-managed switches, you can provide parent-child relationship details so that the network topology map appears accurate. The network topology map provides a great way to help understand changes to the network or when several devices go offline, you can see which switch may be at fault. Proactive monitoring of your client's networks is easily done through alerts. You can set up alerts for the network in general, starting with connectivity to the cloud and the ISP speed to the cloud. Domotes can be configured to look for open ports on the WAN side of your network in the Security tab. If your account is configured for this functionality, you can get alerts when a new open port on the WAN is discovered or a device is using UPnP to access the cloud. Furthermore, you can get alerted when new devices show up on the network. You can also set alerts on individual devices as a whole. Alerts can be triggered by events such as offline and or online status changes, IP address changes, and network latency changes. Advanced alerts, which can monitor SNMP sensors or TCP services, can be set up on devices that support such protocols. You can use these advanced alerts to monitor sensors for temperature, ink levels in printers and copiers, or services running on servers, such as RDP or HTML. The flexibility in these alerts allow you to focus on the devices you care about, but another feature of Domo's service is shared alerts. Shared alerts allow you and all your team to apply common alerts quickly and easily to devices on the network or onto the network itself. This is a great way to integrate the alerts you care about into professional services administration tools, commonly known as PSA tools, which allow you to automatically create tickets that your team can follow up with and prioritize as appropriate. Another powerful feature of the Domote service is VPN on demand. 
Domotes allows you to securely and virtually place your PC on the network you're monitoring. This allows you and your team to use third-party software as needed without common username and passwords associated with most VPN servers. By taking advantage of Domotes' VPN on demand, access to your client systems are logged and secure. In addition, when you use Domotes with two-factor authentication, you know it's your team logging in. Two-factor authentication is one of the best ways to ensure your Domotes service is being utilized by known and trusted sources. Your team members and field operators should make it a practice to use 2FA when possible. Your company should make it a practice. This is one of the best ways to secure the services you use with your clients. In the Domotes portal under the Account tab, there is a section called Two-Factor Authentication. This is where you enable this feature. You can use a third-party authenticator of your choice. I've become fond of Duo, but LastPass and Google Authenticator work equally well. You'll need to follow the instructions provided on this page, but it's quite easy and will help secure your business and services you provide to your clients. I really cannot stress this enough. Your account is now ready to start taking advantage of the services that Domotes offers, enabling you to manage your clients' networks more efficiently and proactively. I encourage you to organize all of the networks you manage in a consistent way. Be thinking about naming conventions that make sense to you and your team. Make sure important devices are marked as such. Set up location and zone information for devices so that they're easy to find and troubleshoot. And use alerts judiciously. Not all discovered devices need alerts. Oh, one last tip. With Domotes, you're not only enabling your company to be more efficient, but you're ensuring that your clients run more smoothly and efficiently as well. I encourage you to take advantage of the reporting functionality within Domotes and stay in touch with your clients. Let them know what systems you continue to monitor. They'll appreciate the feedback and awareness you're bringing to them. Thank you.